This is the login screen of the software. This is the screen that all of your employees will be using to log into the software. If we go ahead and click on the login button, uh, you will be asked for a manager or employee password. A manager password is that password that actually uh, gives you full access to the software because of course the manager has the or should have the privileges to do any operation in the software and an employee password would be one of those passwords for one of your employees that you set up in the software where you can also set uh, restrictions uh, like things that the employees cannot do you know and this goes on per employee base uh, you can set different restrictions for different employees right now you'll see that uh, we have uh, pre-filled value in this text box and um, that is because we're running the software for the first time and we haven't really changed any or assigned any passwords so it's giving you the uh, benefit of testing the software out fully by pre-filling the default password for the manager which is one two three of course that will not be pre-filled once you change and assign your own passwords in here uh, and you cannot see this value right now I mentioned one two three for the manager's password because uh, it's masked out by these star characters and it's always going to be the case when you're typing into these uh, password fields uh, for security reasons uh, just in case that you have somebody looking over your shoulder as you're typing in a password it will all be secured because it will be masked out on the screen with these star characters so we'll just go ahead and click OK in here and uh, it will let us in the software